Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to mod Discord, set up plugins, and create your own themes. All links will be in the description, so let's get into it. Modding your Discord client can be easily achieved through an application called Vencord. To install Vencord, either click the first link in the description or launch your web browser and head over to vencord.dev. Once you're here, just click on download Vencord, then select the version for your operating system. I'm on macOS, so I'll be selecting the Mac version. Then just click on download Vencord installer. Next, just launch the installer. And if you get an error like this on macOS, to fix it, right click the installer, then click on open from here, and it should give you the option to open normally. Now, just click install. And that's it. The installation on Windows is basically the exact same. Just launch your web browser and head over to vencord.dev, then click on download vencord, and Windows should be selected. Then just click download vencord installer. Now, just launch the installer, and click install. Now, just launch Discord like normal. Then go to your user settings and scroll down. And if you see this Vencord section, then that means everything was installed correctly. To set up plugins, simply select the plugin section and you can either search for plugins or you can just install them from this browser here. Once you've enabled all the plugins you'd like to install, just click on this restart prompt right here and your client should be restarted. This is necessary for the plugins to actually take effect. To create themes, just head over to bdeditor.dev either by clicking the second link in the description or by launching your web browser and just simply typing in bdeditor.dev. Once you're here, just click select a theme, then choose the theme that you'd like to customize. I'll be choosing the frosted glass theme. Do keep in mind that some themes are a lot more customizable than others. The first tab in the frosted glass theme is your main background tab. This is basically your actual Discord's background. The image section will let you actually modify this background. The internet URL option will let you paste an image URL here, or you can choose a file with a computer file option, or what I'll be using is the transparent background option, which will actually let you see your desktop through Discord, which is a pretty cool effect. Now you can also customize the amount of blur you'd like for the background, and the size and the position of your background, but I'll just be leaving these how they are. Next, for the user pop-out section, this is basically the same as the main background section, but for your user profile. So you can select an internet URL as your image, a file as your image, or just set it transparent, which is what I'll be doing. And again, I'm just going to leave these settings as they are down here. Next, the overlaying model slash pop-out section is again, very similar. You can just select the image you'd like to display in your background here, which again, I'll be just making transparent and leaving these settings as they are. The home button tab will basically allow you to just modify this icon right here. So I'll be selecting a computer file, then I'll just click browse and select this box right here. Once you've selected the file you'd like to have as that icon, just click on upload, then set the image size to 100%. And that's it for the home button section. The brightness tab allows you to modify the brightness independently on each of these different Discord elements. So I'll be setting the serverless brightness to 0.2% and the channels and DM brightness also to 0.2%. Then I'll set the middle brightness to 0.4, and the right brightness, I'll just leave at zero, and the overlay brightness, I will set to one. Now these settings are completely up to you, this is just the configuration I'm using. Next, the colors tab allows you to change different gradients. So I'll just make all of these buttons like a nice gray tone like this. And I'll leave the link and scroll bar color as is. The gradient direction setting basically allows you to just modify your gradient. So if you're using two different colors, you can basically change the direction your gradient's in, like so. But I'm using the same color, so it doesn't really matter for me. Next, the background tint basically allows you to just add a tint to your background. So if I wanted my background to look a little bit more blue, I could do that. But I'm also just going to leave the setting as is. Next, the custom font section basically allows you to just change Discord's fonts. So I'll be using the Avenir Next Demi Bold font because I really like how this one looks. And finally, the app settings will allow you to change your window padding and roundness. So you can change your window size here and change the window roundness here. But I'll just be leaving both of these at zero. Now to download your theme, just click on this download button here then give your theme a name. I'm going to call this theme Frosted Glass. Then just click download. Now just open your themes.css file that you just downloaded and click Command A and then Command C if you're on Mac OS. If you're on Windows, click Control A then Control C. Now go back over to Discord, launch your user settings and scroll down to the Vencord section. Here you should find the themes section. Just click on this, then click on open quick CSS file. Now just paste the text you just copied using Command V on Mac OS and Control V on Windows. And that's it, now you've installed a theme. Now if you're using a transparent background but it isn't working, just open your user settings, then scroll down to the Vencord section and select this Vencord tab here. Now just scroll down and enable translucent window. Then just click restart client. And that's it, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and have a great day, bye.